America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Young. He is the originator of the Buffalo Wing, and he was from Buffalo, New York. And he created the Buffalo Wing back in the 60s. And of course, it got stolen. Let me tell you something, y'all, that I find hilarious. Whenever you go to high IQ people and they claim they made up a recipe or it's always, let me tell you, they tell the story the same way. My mother didn't have much. Um, She went in the kitchen and just put together what she could and she came up with this dish. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. They tell that same story with virtually every recipe. I've heard it from multiple. It is the same carbon copy story. My grandmother went in the kitchen. She didn't have much. We were poor. We were poor. And she went in there and she got a can of beans and a big old jar of mayonnaise. And she came up with this fabulous dish. No, she didn't. But I'm just telling you that the story is always told the same exact way. And and even after a while, when I was younger, I had to realize these people ain't telling the truth about these stories. I mean, if you keep hearing the same thing over and over, it's not real. It is just some garbage they heard off of another person that looked like them and they decide to repeat the story. But it's ultimately really, it's the same story. So I read the the white woman that's claiming uh, their family came up with it. And it's that same poll people. We went in the kitchen. They scraped together. I said, uh, no, mm-mm. y'all y'all making that up. I, I, I've heard that way too much throughout my life from y'all. And when you hear something the same way too many times, you done made the crap up. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. So anyway. This is uh, the family of a black restaurant owner at the time. He's now deceased, John Young. He said he was never credited, but he was the originator of the world famous Buffalo Wings, which is not shocking. I mean, how many times have we seen these folks take credit for inventions and then come to find out we find a black face somewhere? (laughs) Okay, happens all the time. You know, one thing they have never been good in burying us whenever those invention stories come up, because you can always find that black person. You can always find them. All right. So this is Black Enterprise, November 27th, 2021. A black man who once lived in Buffalo, New York, East Side, spent the last few years of his life fighting to be credited for the creation of the world famous Buffalo Wings. All the while, a local Italian family say they were the originators, but they actually came up with their dish after him. (laughs) Okay, they came up with their dish after him. John Young was the owner of a busy restaurant on Jefferson Avenue in the 60s which was considered Buffalo's Black Main Street during segregation. He was first known for his whole breaded wings before his tangy mumbo sauce, (laughs) you go, you go with your bad self, became a hit. Today, the spicy buffalo wings are known by their buttery hot sauce mixture. Theodore Clyburn, not James Clyburn, Theodore Clyburn, 74, recalls chowing down on young, saucy, orange-red wings after he graduated from high school in 1964, USA Today reported. Anybody that was around back then will tell you that John Young was the originator. Clyburn told USA Today, about the owner of John Young's Wings and Things. By the 1970s, Young left the city due to riots and racial tension. He didn't feel it was safe to live. So he left out of Buffalo, New York. When he returned a decade later, 
the hot wings were all the rave and all the credit had gone to a local Italian restaurant, Anchor Bar. They didn't come up. They came up with, with it years later. So um, just a mile from Young's restaurant. So they got some of his wings back then too. You know, that's how these folks are. You know, uh, they won't admit that you, a black person, did something good. They That is not in them to even admit such a thing. But think about this. How many times have y'all been on a job? I'm talking to my subscribers. And you came up with a good idea, but some white person on your job got the credit. Write me in the comment section. It's happened to all of us. We have all had things stolen from us, whether you were in school, on the job, or you came up with some idea, but somehow it ended up on some white person that didn't even come up with the idea. We've all experienced it. So I know this family is telling the truth. We've all been down that road. Most of us have. So now they wouldn't have dared claim the invention of the wing while my father was still around. Young's daughter, Lena Brown Young, said they just wouldn't. After going back into business, Young told his story to any newspaper around, including the New Yorker, in 1980. I am the inventor of the Buffalo Chicken Wing, he told Buffalo News food critic Janet Ocon. And this was in 1996, two years before his death. It hurts me so bad that other people take credit. Well, that's the, that's the great American black story. Many of us can tell you that story. <laughs> Many of us can tell you that story. As some tell it, Frank and Teresa Bellissimo owners of Anchor Bar invented buffalo wings decades old. Now, here, here's the story that I used to hear for every recipe from these folks. And that's when I realized they couldn't possibly be telling the truth. There were several renditions to exactly what happened. One version of the story set in, that's what it is, a story and nothing more. This woman didn't invent this. The Bellissimo's son, Dominic, walked in the spot on Friday night with a group of friends. This is the story they're telling. And I know he. this is not a real story. They were hungry and looking for something new. Uh-huh. I, I, already, I don't believe the story. You were hungry and looking for something new. Most people that are hungry are looking for, if you're really starving, you're, you'll eat anything. You'll eat anything, and that's the truth. Oh, no, we, we're starving, but we want something new. <laughs> no, you weren't. So um, they're saying that it said that his mother was impoverished with what she had on hand. So if she's impoverished, how can she come up with something new for you to eat? Think about it. if she's impoverished, where is she going to come up with new food for you to eat? And she's impoverished. I'm telling you, y'all, I've heard this same story with other recipes. That's how I know it's made up. So she's impoverished, but they said they look like chicken wings, uh, part of a chicken that usually went into the stock pot for soup. The bar's official history read on the placard outside the door. Teresa had deep fried wings and flavored them with a secret sauce. Okay, now where did she get all of this and she was impoverished? And there was no secret sauce. <laughs> okay, secret sauce. Get out of here. And the wings were an instant hit. This, is, this story's a lie, y'all. When I was coming up, I've heard the same story for multiple recipes. Oh, grandma went in the kitchen. We were po. We were po. Grandma didn't have nothing. But she found this big jar of mayonnaise and a big can of 
pork and beans and she went in there and made this meal. Oh my God. It's a lie. It's a lie. Oh, um, it, oh yeah. We, we, my grandmother, she went in the kitchen. We didn't have nothing but three things in the whole kitchen and she made such and such a thing. Oh my God. That's how we came up with this. No, no, it is. They tell the same story. I'm telling y'all. They tell the same story. Now, a multi-state franchise anchor uh, bar sells bottles of sauce sold as far away as Japan. If you talk about one of the hallmarks of Buffalo culture contribution, when it comes to food, chicken wings, there was an African-American man there who, if it was a uh, parallel circumstances or some kind of linear progression, he was doing it on the east side. City of Buffalo, city councilman, James Pitt says. He was serving up stuff to his community because he couldn't get to any other community. So on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, John Young is the originator of the Buffalo Wing. And that's what I will be saying from now on. John Young is the originator of Buffalo Wings. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.